Alrighty. So, this is Hi-Fi Rush. Surprise announcement and uh, release from a Xbox conference earlier today. Looks like it was about the only thing interesting shown there, really. Most of the stuff is just dreary, dreadful stuff, but that's besides the point. So, a bit of an action game. We'll see exactly what we're dealing with right now. Yeah, there's, um, it's an action rhythm game is what it was described as, what it looked like. They're, they're really harping on it, so I'm hoping it really plays a role and it's not just like a cheap gimmick on the side. Uh, we'll give English a shot. I know Tango is, um, was, yeah, we'll continue with this. Tango is, uh, Shinji Mikami's, uh, thing, so I don't know how much of, uh, how much of it was... I don't know, I honestly don't know if this was intended or started as, like, a Japanese-led uh, production or not. Maybe we'll find out more about that later. This looks good. Yeah, we'll continue with this. Stream moments for players who intend to post videos of gameplay on the internet. We license some awesome songs for some big-time rock star types. But if you post videos with that licensed music, you're likely to get takedown notices. Have your video muted or face other claims. Turning Streamer Mode on replaces those licensed songs with original songs. Yada, 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 yada. Um, yeah, so I figured this. I don't know. I'm curious because, uh, I mean, I'm I'm not a huge fan of the bands I saw in there, but I, I was kind of curious to hear what the Prodigy had to offer and what... Uh, and what... Um, Nine Inch Nails had off. I'm not a huge Nine Inch Nails guy, but they make some good stuff. Um, and we'll turn on. Eh, we'll leave it off. I'll play it by ear. If it becomes a big deal, I'll change it later. Uh, no. I think this is good. We'll see just how often this music plays. I don't know if they meant, like, you know, everything, because how much could they have really done, honestly? Like, how many how many additional pieces of music and whatnot could they have done throughout? Start on hard. I'm always up for a challenge. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder just how much the music has changed, honestly. We'll see. Rockstar. Are you done? Uh, yes. Uh, whatever. Here's your Project Armstrong Pass. And welcome to Vandalay Campus. Yes! Project Armstrong, technology perfectly fused with the human body. Together we create better lives. And now, the CEO of Vandalay Technologies, Kale Vandalay! What a historic day. You're the best of the best, and about to be even better. Thanks to our robot enhancements. Vandalay has always been about helping those in need. And you all in Project Armstrong 
are about to show the world just how special you can become. Now go, get ready for a better life. I think they just called my name. Promised me the best of the best, Mimosa. Production asked for test subjects, Kale. Marketing delivered. Don't pin it on Ricca! Tell that grandstander Zanzo in R&D We need people with influence. And you're giving me... Losers! It'll work. It better. No slip-ups. And no defects. What a piece of junk. <laughs> Yeah, right off the bat, I think leaving the license music on was a was a was a bad move. I'm probably gonna have to go back and re-record that cutscene because I don't. I'm not gonna mute it. That'd be miserable. Spring for the An fifth finger, huh? Please proceed to the checkpoint. Okay, checkpoints. Where's that? Ah, don't worry. Probably no big deal. All right. Like I say, first things first. I, I really, really hate this trap. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. And I know that wasn't a license track, but I just wanted to. Uh, Yeah, we'll do that. Um, <coughs> we'll turn that on. Nope. Like I say, I hate this trend, and it's in. It's been in multiple games. It's been in. It's it's in all the big 3D movies and productions out there, where like the frame rate of the animation is just absolutely terrible. It's it's it's. Oh dear. I can't My stand it. Has caused an even greater mess. Your jumping, however, was impressive. Oh man, that surgery drained me out. Where it's like you'll have animations. It's almost like the animations are running at like twenty to thirty frames, but you're forcing it into a sixty frame thing. I don't know. I, I I'm not an animation expert. I don't know what that is, but it's annoying. It's it's in all the move. It's in all the movies and TV shows that get big. All like the the anime, the three D anime stuff. I don't like it. And it bleeds into other stuff. So, uh, your yeah, time to get out of these clothes. This guy sounds familiar. I can't, I can't, I, I was bugging me the whole time. I, I can't place his name. A lot of these voices sound familiar, but I'm, I'm getting terrible with names. Worse than I was before. Shoot on, buddy. Like shit like that doesn't hurt anyone else's eyes. Like look look at him. It's almost like there's like a like a ghosting effect on him almost. Robotic arm, LX plus seventy five, magnetic waste management fixture. Wait, magnetic waste management? 
Room for an object warning. Looks like a defect. Take him in. Uh, uh, is that a weapon? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's resisting. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. All right, so timing is going to be important. I don't know if that has to do with the difficulty selection I uh, chose. Probably. I know it said timing is, is a bit different in there. in my chest. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Second, it's powering up my new robot arm. Third, it's making everything sync up with the beat. And this sounds ridiculous. But when the music kicks in, it feels like, like, like I'm on a stage. <gasps> <gasps> sync up with the music. You all want to see it in action? Let's start with a light attack. A one-beat attack that quickly connects combos. Go ahead. Try it out. Okay. Yeah. Now try a combo and beat to the music. This will be what perfect timing feels like. Okay. Look at you. Perfect timing on that one. Oh yeah. Your attacks always land on the beat, but press the attack button exactly on the beat to give bonuses in battle. Looks like you're ready for more. Head on over. All right. Yeah, so I, it's going to take a little bit to get used to, but no, I that just timing and stuff like that. That's not a completely foreign concept. This one takes two beats to land, so listen carefully for the beat in the middle. I got this. Okay. All right. Now try out a heavy combo in rhythm. This is the kind of timing to aim for. Did this? That's the defect! What? No, 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 no! I, 
was just... Well, here we go. So let's see if I learned anything from that little tutorial. Kind of getting it. I say that, but I don't think my score is reflecting it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the big thing that they were they were doing in this in this game when they were talking about it is like the entire world and all of your actions can fit with the beat. I, I can see that where that, that that you know that that's how it works here. I guess, I guess we'll see just how good I am with the fucking beat. Self moves pretty good. I like the thanks. I like the I like the way everything looks so far. Feels good, except for the jumping. The jumping feels a little heavier than you would expect. More in line with something you'd see in like a Devil May Cry. Could be. Hey, you looking for me? I might need that thing on the bottom. I don't know. Maybe. No, we're gonna put that on there. And eh. Now, what am I supposed to do? Well, well you'll probably see me toggle it on because I'm not doing so hot. Thanks for helping my cat. Need a hand? Oh, that's convenient. Looking to get out of here. Well, that might be something I can handle if you. Hey, yelling like this is awkward. Can you speed this up? Fine. Fine. Look, look, I hacked the access, access panel. panel. Smack, Smack the switch, switch and come up. up. A lot of these voices sound familiar so far. I think this guy was voiced uh, Prompto in Final Fantasy yeah. XV. Forget his name. I want a cool robot arm, not a target on my head. I'm here, cat rescuer. You said you'd help out. <sighs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Good, you made it. Down here. All right, so I'll keep this quick. Uh. I saw you fight back there. I think we might be able to help each other. I, I thought security's all over you, which I could help you with. Stop. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was you back there. You're a cat. No, this is 808. She is a cat, but I built her. Look, like I was saying... You know, I thought my music robot arm power was crazy, but this is... Um... Probably better off by myself. Dude. Listen. 
Vandalay's up to something, and I said I can help. Thanks, but I'm good. something here look who's back and he's got a friend thanks to 808 chai's got a new skill up his sleeve a beat hit it's a timing based bonus attack at the end of a combo on the last hit watch for the timing circle and press any attack button to land it talk is cheap let's try it out To land a beat hit, listen to the countdown or look for the two circles overlapping to nail perfect timing. Try a beat hit with your heavy combo. You're on your own with this one. Ooh, this okay. is awesome! Beat hits are key for doing strong combos and damage. So don't forget to feel that beat. 808, was it? I think we got something going on here. Hey, so offer reconsidered, but I'm gonna borrow your cap for a little bit. What? Why? Hey, you wanted to help, right? Don't worry, it's just till I get out of here. <sighs> you better not run off with that. All right. I think. Okay. This guy was Robbie something. He voiced. I'm pretty sure he voiced um, Prompto in Final Fantasy 15, and the chick, I think, is. Um, Erica Lindbeck, she was in uh, Persona. A lot, I'll be honest, a lot of the, you know, the, the a lot of the freaking, I guess, studios that handle all the voice work and stuff like that. It's it's like just a big mess of people that all know each other. So I guess you're just gonna hear a lot of the same voices from now and for the, like the next ten years. Bring it on. No matter how unsavory some of them are. variety in like combo moves and this is gonna be you know some of the, some of these feel a little sluggish I don't know how much of that is the game trying to restrict me because of the beat and I don't know how much of it is uh, just me not understanding what the game's about yet I guess we'll find out as we go along well that looks like all of them things aren't so bad after all okay remind me to ask you later how you did all that like I yeah, know it's definitely Erica anyway your turn I need to get out of Wherever I am. You're in production, and the only direct exit is through quality assurance. You see it? So many buildings, it's hard to tell. It's the one that literally says QA Center on it. Oh, yeah, that one. But with that way out, they're probably expecting you, so... You had me at way out. Let's go. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. We'll get we'll keep we'll keep giving hard a little bit of a shot, but you know, if, if the rhythm timing is restricted this way, I don't want to like just drag down the whole thing. You're wanted. We need to outsmart them. Well, then I'll fight my way out. Are you an idiot? That's literally the opposite of outsmarting them. Gotta say, it's nice to see some fucking color. 
A lot of games are just like, it's all dreary. Every, every, everything nowadays looks like a, a, a fucking unreal experiment. Also, the, like, a lot of people say, like, the whole, like, this game's going for, like, a Saturday morning cartoon thing. I'm not huge into that, so I'm not gonna read all the notes and all that kind of shit. That was Kale in the flesh. You don't even have flesh. You wouldn't know. Actually being in production, does that count that I met him? No, it doesn't. So get over it, and let's fix this staircase. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm not gonna 100% look at all the notes and whatnot. Not gonna read everything necessarily because I, I have a feeling that my tolerance for this kind of stuff is gonna only go as far as um, it's, only, it's only gonna go so far. If I can make that, like I said, the game isn't really nice. The game isn't really, like there's a there's a bit of weight and restriction. Like as soon as you hit like the like the top of your jump, you kind of just like tank. Reminder to compensate for added Project Armstrong flow. A new day of the week was added. Please note on this additional day of the week, working is mandatory. Hint guy really wants me. No hints, not needed. Sorry. So Vandalay, come on. I will say the guy, uh, the the guy Vandalay. I think that's Roger Craig Smith. Like I said, just every every everybody's it's always the same voice actors and all this stuff. He's good though. I like Roger. Okay, it's one of those, one of those 2D segments. Wow, this campus is huge. It's more like a city. The perks of being the world's leading tech company. Vandalay Oops. likes to show off. I was not paying attention there. For what they're hiding. Oh, you like digging up secrets. How about telling me your name? If it took you this long to ask, you can wait a bit longer. I'm Chai, by the way. Chai? All right then. Whoa, okay. I should have expected that, but I mean, wasn't expecting too much platforming to begin with. No more than your uh, Devil May Cries and different action games of that nature. <laughs> platforming in action games normally doesn't go all that well. Normally. Most of the Devil May Cries, Kingdom Hearts 1, Nier, all those, all the games have pretty, you know, strict, we'll say, platforming. If you happen to be somebody who's watched most of the playthroughs on this channel or what we offer, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's just me this time. No Luke, no Harrison. It's not gonna be, it's gonna be quiet, alright? If you're looking for screaming and hollering, you should probably watch, uh, any other playthrough except for this one and the Resident Evil one. See, that tripped me up a little. I tried to jump with a non-existent beat that I was not, uh, ready for. Hey, 
Cool. What's that? I wouldn't touch that. It's too late. Oh, you're not dead. That's a plus. The opposite, actually. It feels like I'm powered up. 808 is showing me you've got a lot of energy stored up in your arm. How about letting it out? Okay. Please don't explode. Power forward! Okay. Simple enough. So I'm liking the way this feels so far. I'm starting to get used to the beat a little bit. A little bit, I say. The problem is I'm used to, like, delaying in specific timing on hits being, like, specifically for, like, doing different abilities. So it almost feels like... Once again, I don't know how many different moves they're going to have, but, like, if you have that system with this system, you're almost going to have to restrict yourself for, like, a brief, like, half seconds in order to get, like, certain moves to come out and do them properly. So, we'll see if I adjust and see if different difficulties do anything different with it. Not bad at all. Doing a bit better, yeah. Whoops. I don't think there's anything down there, and I don't think there's wor it's worth it if there is. No, I'm not too keen on, um... One thing that's it's pretty prevalent with most action games, not all, but most, is they don't really give you a sprint. They, they kind of rely on you mash and dodge. Uh oh. Not a big fan oh, of that. The generator looks busted. Could you fix it? Any tools nearby? Tools? <laughs> I got a better idea. That's kind of neat. Wasn't paying attention there. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, turn the sensitivity up a little bit. Hold the target. 
Yeah, there's no lock on, I guess, based on based on what that's saying. To be honest, I'm outside of. I'll be honest. As I might, I might change the, the the language at a certain point if I if I get tired of it. Like, because there's only so much like of this that I can really take. You know, like it's already not my not my style. Really, there's only so much of that. Like, like I don't know how much of the cheesiness is you know them you know being genuine or them forcing it, and I don't know how much of that I'm gonna be able to take. So I might change it to Japanese at a certain point. So, like, that's a little, like, that's, you know, a silly little character quirk thing, but I have a feeling if I read, like, two more notes where, like, that's, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit jaded and cynical. This is the way the industry's been for a while. Hopefully, that maybe this game will warm my heart and I won't be such a, I won't be such an asshole anymore. Trying, damn it. I mean, now is the time to try it out. Ooh. Time to mix heavy and light attacks. Okay. Timing gets a little trickier, but give it a shot. I don't mind. Pretty good. Yeah, I don't need another tutorial. Yeah, you probably should. Got another combo for you. Let's see how you handle this one. Ready. You are really good at this. Flashy. Alright, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, see that? Ooh, yeah. Alright, hold on. Yeah. See how I just, like, each time I jump, there's just, like, a little less on there? It doesn't, it doesn't feel as fluid as the rest of the game does, that's for sure.
Now I know the the like the the way because obviously the little icon's not coming up next to his name. I'm not hitting these quite right, but I'm starting to the game's starting to feel like I'm you know I'm getting to the groove. I'm just off off you know the beat. Nothing I can't handle. You lose all like leeway when you're when you're jumping and double jumping. And that's that's some of the like worst feeling stuff in an action game is when you just you just don't quite have the movement down. It also applies to fighting games too, where if you're if you're trying to like keep momentum while attacking or just moving in general, it just does not feel right. If you can't, if your if your body and your movements and the game just doesn't allow you to to fluidly move or like. Jump arcs are weird, shit like that. Hmm. See, just like I thought. It's fine. You need to relax. Uh, uh, huh? Introducing the head of production, Rico! Oh no. Hell! Here you are, little man. Messing with Rekka's crew. Rekka's production. And worst of all, yeah, Rekka's perfect, no defect record! Okay. Your security tried to kill me! Project Armstrong, E U L A. Fine print. Should have read it. Punk. Defects get recalled. Uh, recalled? You mean killed? Rekka ain't picked the verbs. That's for the mooks in marketing. Anyway, thanks for being dumb enough to just waltz in here. Rekka ain't gotta get her hands dirty. I told you. Welcome to the Project Armstrong defect check, honey. And our QA is the best in the business. Hey uh, Dodge back there. A little picky, but I, I would prefer a lock on, manual lock on, you know? Get out of there. 
Yeah, yeah, I get it. Ah. Didn't realize it was a quick time event. There we go. Oof. <laughs> okay. I thought I really fucked up that time, but it was just scripted stuff. I was expecting something piss easy. I know I'm playing on hard. I just... Okay, so that's... What an amazing uh, license track we're missing by uh, by playing this with the special streamer mode. Okay, so there's a little bit of invincibility in there. Song's gotta end.
Oof. I, I was I was oofing both the the pacing of that that scene and my performance. That was pretty. I was pretty weak, if I do say so myself. Complaining this time. All right, all right. <laughs> Are you scared? What? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, it is a little dark. Uh, hey, there are no spiders down here, right? Or like robot spiders? Oh, please don't let there be robot spiders. <gasps> this it? In here. Uh, hello? Catbot? Snare? What are you? Cartoon character? So that's where the magic happens, huh? My name is Peppermint. Wait, that voice! <gasps> You're the cat! 808 is my eyes and ears out there. But it looks like she's taken a liking to you. <sighs> Wait, 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 okay, she's yours! She's yours! Get up, slacker. We've got work to do. So, 808 said you said you were gonna help me get out of here. I am. Right after you help me look into Spectra. I don't even know what that is. Don't expect you to. This is whistleblower level. So... bad? Yes. And I'm working with a team to expose them. We're small, but... Small meaning just you and your cats? I'm bigger than this. <laughs> Says Rockstar here. Do you even actually play guitar? I... Well... Figures. I'll talk. Um... Look, this campus is a maze of hallways, lifts, and dead ends. Filled with security. You'll need my help to get out of here. Nah, so far I've done pretty... Hmm. Horrible if it wasn't for me. Look, if you help me, I'll make sure you get off Vandalay Island. Fine. Whatever, I guess. Perfect. Taking the vibe. Come on now. This is your hideout? You really are a small operation. Well, now we're plus one. You can rest on that sofa. Luxury suite, I see. By the way, I may be able to help you out with some upgrades if you have some spare parts. Let's chat before we head out. Man, what have I gotten myself into? Well, at least it'll be a cool story to tell in five years. So tell me, do you like me or Peppermint more? Be honest. This, this guy is the kind of guy I, I, I wouldn't be able to stand in real life, but he's, he's kind of warm enough to me. I'm sure the game will ruin that at some point. This is like a little wall where all the achievement stuff gets laid out. It's simple enough. Now oh, the notes get collected here. What's this? Nothing yet. 
I'm not the master of Vandalay tech, but with some gears, I may be able to give you a bit more fight. More fight? Can you be more specific? Oh. I set up a shop for you. Here you can learn new attacks. You can use oh, them thank just you. by buying them. Here's your chance to learn new special attacks. Each attack requires a certain amount of reverb gauge, so make sure you have enough before buying. Also, special attacks need to be equipped. You can't just use them all. I see. So, I'll just slot in my attack, and I'm good to go. And finally, here are items for some permanent upgrades. What's this? Yeah. I've got an idea for something, but let's just say it's still in free flow. How are you doing all this with gears? Don't underestimate me. I can do more than you think. All right. Let me see what you got. That's kind of cool. Probably going to be mostly investing in this. I mean, outside outside of my own shortcomings and getting used to the beat, I'm not really. The game isn't really proving to be that difficult. Just growing pains. This kind of looks cool. Ooh, I like that. I feel like I'd naturally f do that a lot. If if the if the game's mainly about rhythm, I said before, like I f I can see myself kind of getting pushed into following the beat more than trying to like do cool combos. I don't know how much that's going to align, but I feel like it would be probably for the best to get as many combos that let you switch between heavy and light. Probably. Um. What the? You know, I'm gonna get the harmonic beam. And... Yeah. Stomp box. I, really, I think there's some overlap between the functionality of those two, but... for now. 